Hey guys, welcome back to the under. First, we're gonna be getting the crab mask. You're gonna wanna go left of the under and towards the water slide. And you just keep going past it and keep going in that direction until you get to the edge of the world and that's where the crab pit will be. So this is the crab pit. As you can see, there's three little platforms that have crabs on them. So what you're going to want to do is make a bunch of these salt shakers. You do this by doing a snap and clockwise. And just keep making a bunch of these. And I'll move on to the next step. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make a big potion. How you do this is a onion and then an egg and then you do clockwise. And you put the salt shakers in, make them big, and throw them into the crab pit. A good tip is you can make a chain with this with another player. One player makes the salt shakers and another player makes the big potion, as you can see here. So after you do this, I throw a couple salt shakers in. The crab should light up white. Then you're going to want to make a big potion again if you took it out. And grab a crab, put it in there. And then have at least three players grab the crab. Each person stands on each pedestal. As you can see, we're trying to get this new person to put the to grab the crab. Then you're going to snap a bunch. Eventually, the crab will stop in midair. It'll disappear. A king crab hand will come up and grab him. Then he will snap at one of the pedestals. If he snaps onto you, you'll be teleported into the crab uh, pit. Otherwise, you'll just have to do it again, which is what we're about to do. If the king crab grabs you, he'll pull you into the crab pit, and you'll spawn in this tunnel. It's a bit hard to see, so I recommend uh, lighting your mask. That way it's a little bit easier to see. So this table is actually very useful. So these, there are three of these signs, and these will give you your recipe. There's one at the very beginning, there's one towards the middle of the tunnel, and there's one at the very end of the tunnel. And you're going to want to assemble these, but I'm going to show you how to make the mask anyway, so... It's just a little helpful tip in case you want to show someone else. So, after I assemble these, I'll show you how to make the mask. As you can see, that's into the crab pit. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, there's I have a, another video about that. And I accidentally put it in my mask. Oops. Just have to wait for it to respawn again. So in my previous video, I did say that the eggs and dung balls are only accessible from the middle of the crab pit. That's clearly wrong. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so now you have the assembled uh, crab mask recipe. So the first step is you're going to want to get these bits of, so of mask. And you're going to put that in your mask, do counterclockwise so you can get a full mask. And that's your first ingredient. So you put that in your mask, grab a small leg. These are crab legs. You grab a small one, grab two small ones, then a larger one, then another larger one. Then you're going to grab a shell. And finally, two more small legs. And this will give you your mask. Once you've got your crab mask, you can either eat one of the dung balls or the poison food item to get to the islands, and you can head back to the under and hang out with friends and show them your new mask. Moving on to the sun mask, you're going to go right of the under. We're going to follow the spiral mask here, and we're going to head up to the observatory. Scattered around the observatory are uh, bits and pieces that you can put into your mask and do counterclockwise. You'll need at least two players to do this to fix the observatory. Once you've done this, the, uh, the observatory will come out of the ground. It's a really cool spectacle, so I highly recommend watching it come out of the ground for your first time when you're in game. So you're going to head around on the other side. This is the entrance to the observatory. 
So you're going to go down these stairs. Again, there's three pedestals, so you'll need three players to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to make two apples and one salt shaker. Turn the apples into sticks. And turn the salt shaker into a knife. You're going to be making a golden arrow for the ritual. So you take the sticks and then a knife. This will give you an arrow. Then you're going to make a gold potion. Make the arrow gold. And this will help you start the ritual. As you can see, this crab mask has already made one. <laughs> He's very proud of it. I was just showing you guys how to make a gold arrow. So you can make it for other people that might need help. So we're having a little bit of difficulty trying to get some people to cooperate. This is common if you're trying to get one of these masks as you do need multiple people so I'll cut to when we're starting the ritual now that we have all three players holding the arrow we can stand on these pedestals you're going to snap you'll see these uh, constellations overhead and if you look up you're going to have stars what seem to be stars falling down from the sky this is what you're going to use to make your mask so you're gonna need two of these you can move them around, they have a trail. So you put one star, a snap, another star, and then another snap. This will give you your sun mask, or star mask. And to leave, you just head back up the stairs, and head back to the under. Finally, I'm going to show you how to get the druid mask. You're going to go right of the under, as if you're going to get the cheese and onion mask. But instead of going to the bunker, we're going to go slightly left. Once you're here, you're going to find a broken down Stonehenge, and you're going to want to fix this. There are uh, bits of the stone around the area, and they should be each just kind of around these uh, stone pillars. But you have to work kind of quick if you're doing this by yourself, because uh, parts of the Stonehenge will fall down if you don't do it fast enough. How you know you'll f have finished uh, fixing everything is that the sky will turn light blue and the grass will start coming out and you'll have these sm smoke particles around the area. So what you're going to do, there's this uh, Leopold and Colin that's a reference to something the MC says. Here you're going to want to go to the center, as you can see there's flowers up there, and there is a table. This is your recipe for making the mask, so you're going to need an apple. And you can go up here by grabbing this model, and you're going to need two of these light green uh, flowers. And you can drop them onto the table. These roll away, so it's kind of hard to, so you might need to get them back later. See, that one disappeared, and this other one's going to roll off. Uh, you're also going to need one purple flower, so you can grab that. That's your first uh, ingredient. And you can set them out like this. So I'm going to come up here. Uh, there are plenty of the different kinds of flowers. If you do run out, especially if you're by yourself, if you're not playing with other people, this uh, they should be plentiful. So now I have these two. They are hard to keep on the rock. So, so the re recipe is a flower, clockwise, an apple, clockwise, snap the green flowers counterclockwise in a snap and that will give you your jude mask as i'm doing this you can also see the text in my mask that is tempest a show hosted by the under i highly re recommend buying tickets if you play the under frequently thank you guys so much for watching i know i usually don't talk during this segment but i just wanted to say i really appreciate all the support on the under presents uh content lately i was really worried it might not do as well as some of my other content and i hope you guys enjoyed if i made any mistakes or there's something that's bothering you about any of my videos always be, feel free to leave it in, in the con comments i make a lot of mistakes because i'm not that smart so that would be much appreciated please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye